Hi folks, this is Dave Higgins. This is one of the simplest and fastest ways to create a painterly enhancement of your image and it is to use textured overlays. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to have our layers palette open and it doesn't matter what I'm going to do, I always duplicate the background, keep the background locked. That way if I inadvertently work on this layer I'm not going to destroy my original. Now we need to go on up and go to open and in open I will have uh, these textures posted on my website if you uh, want to download them and use them to try this. They will be in a folder titled Tutorial Textures 1. I'm going to start with uh, th the black stroke. Click open and we have the image right here. Now we could select all, copy, click back here and paste to move this in, but there's a faster way. You need to make sure that you have the arrow selected. You hold down the Option key and you should see a black and white double set of arrows come up. Hold down your mouse button then, drag it over the original image and drop and it will place it in there for you. Now, sometimes the image doesn't fit. You can stretch it to put it in there and it does not really affect the end quality of the image but once you do this you get this little check mark up here if you don't click the check mark you're not going to be able to do very much because it will prevent you from moving further on so click the check mark and now we can continue now here is what we moved in it created a new layer but we can't do anything, we can't see it through it. We have to use up here, these are called our blending modes and it says normal at this point. We're going to go down and there's quite an extensive list here, but we're really only going to use three most of the time. Multiply, overlay, and soft light are the ones that will give us the most dramatic effects. Now I'm going to start with multiply, which lets the darker area of the original image show through. Now we can not only use blending modes, we can also use opacity. So I can come on over here and reduce the effect of what we've put in. So I'm going to put it right about there. I don't want it to obscure this information, I just want it to enhance it. Now we're going to add another fill and this time we're going to try and put in one that's going to introduce some more color. So I'm going to use this flower field click open. Then we're going to do the same procedure we did before. Make sure the arrow is selected. Hold down the option key. Drag and drop. Just ignore that. Bring it up. Stretch it to fit. And this one's larger so we have some ability to move things around so I'm going to put it right about there. Now as we can see it made a new layer when we did this. Now let's go on in and see what happens when we change our blending modes. If I go to multiply that's too dark. I really want this colored layer to enhance color and that's where the other two overlay and soft light to that. We can see how it's brightened up the image. Now overlay will give us the brightest effect and soft light will give us a more subdued effect. I want the brighter effect in this case, so I'm going to go with overlay. Now again, we can change the opacity. So I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to move the slider until I get the result that I want. And I'm going to put it right there. Now you can stop at this point, but if you want to continue the enhancement to have it look like a digital painting, then you need to add some kind of a textured paint type background and we're going to do that next. So we click over here and again I can't do anything because I forgot to check the check mark. So now I'm going to check the check mark and now I have access to the rest of my settings. That's why you got to watch out for that check mark. It sneaks up on you. So now I'm going to come down to the black and white arrow, I mean circle, and I'm going to go down and click on pattern. And it'll open up my pattern fills. If I click on this little slant arrow here, it gives me access to all the patterns I have loaded. Now I'm going to click on this textured pattern here. You click back on there. Now we can change the scale 
or the coarseness of the pattern by using this slider. But I wouldn't worry about that too much at this point because I'll show you a trick in just a second. So now we click. Now we have to be able to see through this layer. So again, we go on up to our blending modes and we're going to go down and use multiply. And you can see multiply gives us a very interesting looking texture. It looks like watercolor paper. There are ones that look like canvas, and I can change the opacity again to show how much that's going to affect. Now, this is a trick I was talking about. Once you get this all in here, you can still click on this icon and go on in and change the scale. So if I take this up, you can see it's really coarse, or I can take it down and it's almost non-existent. And I can see it when I move it, so that's why I don't worry about it too much in the beginning. I want to make my adjustments when I can see them. Say OK. Now we'll go down through. I'm going to shut off the um, texture fill, and we can see what that does. Then I'm going to shut off this layer with the color, and that's the one with the painterly effect. And we're back to our original image. And we can see this is a pretty good photograph, but when we start adding these enhancements, it becomes visually much more powerful. And that's it. You've now created a painterly enhanced image. Fast, fairly simple. If you found this helpful, please give me a like on the YouTube channel. Leave a comment. Um, I will have the fills and the textures available on my website. To do this tutorial or to use textured fills and patterns, you will have to go online and download them. There are many paid sites where you can buy fills and patents, but there are also many sites that are free. If you do an internet search, you will find lots of these available online, and most of them will tell you how to install them on your computer. Lots of luck.